Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are writing physics in the upcoming jam, then you want to pay full attention to this class here because we want to talk about one important aspect of physics, which is called electric what? Field. Electric field is one, one big part of physics that jam asks questions all the time. And there are two main parts of electric field. We are called current electricity and electric what? Field. So we have to talk about those two parts in this video. So now let's look at what the, the, the first one. So now, but, but don't look at what current electricity here. Let's look at what, 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 first of all, what is electricity? Electricity deals with charge at motion or at rest. So when we talk about electricity, is that a charge at rest or at motion? So the study of charge at rest is called static electricity or electrostaticity. So that we call the study of what charge at, at rest. Now, but the study of charge at motion or on motion is called current electricity, which we are going to talk about in this what class. Now, remember, for for an object A to for, for, for an object A to move towards to this position. Now you have position A and what position what B, right? Now, for an, for, for an object to move from point A to point B, there must be a force that will, that will push, right? Now, when a force is applied, applied to an object and move the object from point A to point B the, uh, uh, at, at a distance, we say that work is done. Do you understand? So, that is work, what's the word force times the word distance, right there. And I talk about electric word current at motion. So we're talking about charges. We are talking about charges. No, we're talking about electric current. We're talking about charges at, at motion. So for a charge to move from point A to point B, there must be a force or a pressure that will, that we apply. Now that force that that move for that move a uh, a charge from point A to point B is called potential or difference. Just and just like the way water or water will flow from from higher level to what a lower level or when you apply pressure that is same thing you need what a force or a pressure to move one charge to move one charge from point a to what to point b either so that force that moves a charge from point a to point b is now what as potential potential what difference either potential what difference difference it's called what Potential difference, idea. Right so, what is really a potential difference? Now, what is the definition? So, potential difference is the work done per unit charge. Potential difference is the work done per unit what charge, and the unit is called volts. Just that which is V volts. So, if you look at the, if you look at that definition here, potential difference is what is the work work done per unit charge. That is potential. Potential difference. Potential what difference? Difference. Because of what? Work done. Work done over what? Charge. Over what? Charge. Now, the potential difference now what? As V as symbol equals what? W, which is what the work done. Then what? Q. Very important here. So, this is the first formula you need to take note of here. You get remember uh this one is votes work is what is just right now q which is called shall call column very important it's called what column so look at call electric what currents so what is electric currents what do you understand by electric currents the, the rate of flow of charge along a conductor is called electric what currents and it depends on the what it depends on the charge at the time it takes. So here you can say electric currents, electric currents is equal to what? Quantity of charge, quantity of charge that flows, quantity of what charge, quantity of what of charge, which is what is Q, right? Is Q over what? The time it takes. Time. It takes to what? To, to flow along the, what, the conductor. Now, current is, is represented as, as I. It's equal to what? Q. 
two over what c very important here do you understand now the unit of current is called amperes units unit of what currents which your i is called what amperes called amperes it's called what amperes very important here why the, the units of q is called columns right units of what of q which call a uh, point of charge is what the unit of q is what is c which call column do you understand why the units units of c which is t is what is seconds very important here right very important so from here now we can just say that if you should work make sure the subject of formula here yeah, yeah, you can say q is going to what i c right or yes or you can say i what t so you can say t just on i what c so if you look at this formula here that connect what uh voltage remember voltage v is equal to what w or what q right so from here now from here now if you can say q equals to what i c so these are the what two formulas three so i want to use the word calculate question under what current what electricity so i want to see how questions are being asked under this what uh part here before we move to what before we move to uh circuit before we move to uh before we move to before we move to electric what circuit so let me cover some basic questions you should what no how to solve let's get into it okay now let's take some important questions based on what you have done using those, those formula here now before we start this here i want to understand that volts is equal to what work done per unit what charge right i mean that ah electric current equals to what uh q over what t so there are two things you are what you are, you are making this up so let, let's go with the first one here this is a current of 130 milliampere passes through a conductor for 25 minutes what is the quantity of the electricity transported quantity of what of the electricity that was that is being transported so if you check there where they gave you what the i yeah equals to what i is what 130 milliwatt amperes i there but we know that we cannot use it like this here right we have, we, have, we have to convert milliampere to what to amperes and um, milli amp milli means what 10 years or minus what three we have to work taking of this it means that current is going to be 130 times 10 or minus what three what amperes so this is what you to work taking it of here just stand so you are not going to use one to solve like that you have to convert to what to amperes just stand so you can live like this now the, the next they get to us here is what is my time they give me time to be what 25 what minutes right 25 minutes now remember time is measuring what is seconds it means that you have to convert what minutes to what seconds so how do you convert minutes to seconds remember uh one minute is going to what 60 what seconds so in the sense that if I want to do this conversion here, so remember one minute equals to sixty what seconds, right? If I do the conversion, you're going to be times you draw draw all your division sign here, right there. Now this also is set about one. Remember that our numerator, our denominator, although this one does not affect it, but you have one, so that it make more sense. So put a division sign here. Now when you're converting here. Now you're meant to go to the down. You have one minute, right? My sixty seconds to go to the top. Do you know the reason? So I'm meant to cancel out minutes here. So what? What will be the answer? It's going to be twenty-five times or sixty what seconds here, right? We want to do what? So let's use our calculator. So let's use our calculator here. So it's going to be twenty-five times what sixty, right? So it's going to be one. One five on the what seconds? Yes, seconds. Now, the way you say you calculate what is the quantity of the electricity that what that is transported. Then, that you should calculate what I. No, 
Now, they ask you to calculate Q, quantity of the electricity that, what, that is transported, that is Q. I there, quantity of the electricity that is trans transported. So, which one are you going to go to? Is it the first one or the second one here? Of course, we are going to use what? The second one, which what? R equals to what? Q over what? T. Now, I'm, I know this guy here. I have known this guy here. I'll do what I'm looking for. So, I'll make this guy a formula here, right? So if I should make this guy solve the formula here, what will have to cross on fly, right? So it will be Q equals to what? I times T. This is that. So what will here? I is what? What is the I? 130 times 3 or minus 3 times what? Times 1500. So what will be the answer here? So my quantity here, my Q is going to be what? Uh, one nine five columns five columns so that is the word answer so you can see i see this to solve question here but i finish for this one yeah i'm going to give you one for you to try so just come down you try for me if this video is helpful please leave a like message that this video is helpful and if you are not like this video, please give it a like and if you are not subscribed please kindly subscribe to this channel here please kindly share this video to other other of your friends that are going to write uh physics in the upcoming channel so that this can work benefit please get fair this I need to go oh yeah, to other students who are writing jam. So let's look at what the second one. Let's look at what the second one, question two. If you look at question two here, they say find the work done. So they ask you to find W work done, right? In moving a four Q, four column, that is my Q here is what four column, right? So between two points, X and Y. In an electric watch feed, if the potential difference is what 100 volts, so my D here is what 100 watt volts. Can you see that? Can I say you can say it is and also which are we use? Of course, in this one here. Now, why? Because they, they say she will calculate what work, right? They gave us what Q and they gave us what V. So it means that we are using what V equals to what W over what Q. Now they say she will calculate what the work done. Please take that picture. They say. Calculate what work done. So when you cross multiply, W here is equal to what V times Q, right? So if you substitute our value here, my V is what? 100 V times my Q here is what? 4C. So what would be the answer here? 100 times 4, you have 400 joules. Just a 400 joules. As easy as that. It's not difficult, right? So let's like what question 3. So how do you solve question three? Is that a lamp takes a current of 20 amperes from a 250 volts. Calculate the energy produced in 16 minutes. Calculate the what energy produced. Now, what, when, when I say calculate the energy, remember what do you think about as energy, right? So the, let's see how we are going to what, answer this question. So let's see how we can answer this question. Yeah, it's like a lamp takes a current of 20 amperes. So my I is what 20 amperes. 20 watt amperes from a 250 volts. So my V that is potential difference is what is 250 watt uh volts, right? Calculate the energy. So the, the, we have to calculate W here, the energy, right? We use the energy here. In what? In uh, 16 minutes. Of course, we have to convert what means to seconds. So we're going to do what? Uh, going to be uh, times 60 seconds. 60 seconds over what? One minute, right? Of course, we have to do this one here. So I, so I, so I cannot confuse your letter. 16 times what? 60 equals to what? 960 what seconds it means that whenever what your time is is being given to you in minutes what do you what how do you combine to what to seconds you have to multiply what by what 60 right to get what uh seconds so 60 times 60 yeah you got to be what 960 what seconds now let's evaluate the question here let's see how do we solve w here now the only way you can solve w is what w remember v is equals to what W over what Q, right? Now let's make W sorry from my here. W here is equal to V Q, right? Now, but if you look at the question here, if you look at the question very critically here, 
she was not giving to me, right? But of course, if I should, ah, it goes to chew about what tea. If I should what make you so from like, yeah, yeah, hold on. Chew equals to what I see, right? It means that my W is what to what V I T. That is it. So in, if you share the question very well, they gave us what uh votes, they gave us what I and they gave us what time. Can you see that? So it means that to calculate work the, the to calculate what the electrical energy produced, and um, to calculate what the electrical energy produced, uh, you can use what this formula here. Do because what the voltage now the yeah the potential difference times the electric current times what the time takes. So if you substitute your value, here, my D is what is two fifty volts, right? Times my I is what twenty amperes. My C is what my time is what nine C is what seconds, right? So let's let's multiply it here. So you have. 250 times so it'll be what 250 times 20 times 960 so what you have here so you have w equals to four eight zero 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 right we want juice now but now let's convert this one to a standard form so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna do what? Four point four four point eight exponential. What six? What joules? That is it. So that is what is that. So when you add this kind of uh large large value, here, you have to convert it to what to a standard form. Just um, this is called like a decimal form, but this is called standard form. It's very important. Just um, so if you follow this class, please leave a comment section that you are following this class uh please kindly share this video to other of your other of your friends that also that we also need this video here so that you can also benefit now it's time for you to try it's time for you to try because after i've seen something here it's for you to try your own so let me place on board come to the end of this class but i'm not going to end this class without me giving you some questions for you to try based on what you have done so you have three questions based on the exact type of questions you have done so you should be able to what answer this question so pause this or pause this video or after you saw this video here yeah, come back to come back to, to this comment section here yeah, and and drop your answer now the first the first 10 person that will get all correct answer there will be a gift for that person i'm not going to I, i'm not going to tell you that gift now but i'm going to give that person a gift like something that that will really what appreciate so after this question, they leave it at the comment section. So let's go. So see you in the, see you in the next class.